Saints Tuesday morning welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. <clears throat> Psalm 24 The earth is the Lord and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the new creation. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is Revelation chapter 6. Then I saw the Lamb open one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures call out as with a voice of thunder, Come. I looked, and there was a white horse. Its rider had a bow, a crown was given to him, and he came out to conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature call out, Come. And then came another house. Bright red, its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth so that people would slaughter one another, and he was given a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature call out, Come! I looked and there was a black horse. Its rider held a pair of scales in its hand, and I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of all the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a day's pay, and three quarts of barley for a day's pay but do not damage the olive oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature call out, Come! I looked, and there was a pale green horse. Its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed with him. They were given authority over a fourth of the earth, to kill with the sword, famine and pestilence, and by the wild animals of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar 
the souls of those who had been slaughtered for the word of God and for the testimony they had given. They cried out with a loud voice, Sovereign Lord, true and holy, how long will it be before you judge and avenge our blood on the inhabitants of the earth? They were each given a white robe and told to rest a little, rest a little longer until the number would be complete, both of their fellow servants and of their brothers and sisters, who were soon to be killed as they themselves had been killed. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked and there came a great earthquake. The sun became black as sackcloth. The full moon became like blood and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree drops its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. The sky vanished like a scroll rolling itself up and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth and the magnates and the generals and the rich and the powerful and everyone, slave and free, hid in the caves among the rocks of the mountains, calling to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of the one seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Here ends the reading. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The Te Deum. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, <clears throat> all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray for the tasks of the day ahead of us. Father, we pray that today we would be good stewards of our faith. That when people meet with us and when they see us and talk to us, that they would know that we worship you from the way that we act and the way we speak. Almighty God, in our community, we pray for the economy. We pray for those who are struggling with job losses. We pray for those who are having financial difficulties. And we pray for all the agencies within our community that are helping people to alleviate their problems. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.